But what I'm really trying to do is this memorial ride for my ex-boyfriend who uh, committed suicide. And I saw on Facebook that some people who know him are doing this ride up this road in honor of him. Um, because he used to, he was like really into cars and stuff and he would drive this super windy road like really fast and tires screeching, you know what I mean? Like the whole thing. So we're gonna do safe ride, I guess. I don't even know who's doing it. I just saw it on Facebook and I was like, oh, I should be a part of that. Oh my God, it's 11-11 right now. Oh my goodness, we were so close once upon a time and it's so crazy that he's gone. And when I found out that he was gone, it really sent me for a loop. Honestly, that's why I started drinking and trying to smoke a little bit of weed, which I since have stopped. It's all good. Yeah, unfortunately, it definitely looks like I missed them. You know, for all I know, the parade might have ended at 11 or 11.30, so I guess we'll just see. I missed it. They're not here. And they probably came right after the parade, like it said. I did get there at like 12 when I thought it was gonna end, but I think it ended sooner than that. So I'm just parked in the shade by myself and um, I'm just gonna reflect on our connection together and just send him a lot of love wherever he is now. Wow, I just passed by this really cool van. I gotta show you, it's just open. All right, but this is our beautiful pizza. This is like what I cannot resist is this crust. It's so good, it's gluten-free, and I just freaking love it. So what's on here? It looks like cheese, mushrooms, feta. It looks like there's some onions, some bell peppers, red sauce. It looks so good. I wasn't happy with the angle of the camera, and I'm still not. Ah! There's a lot of people walking back and forth for the festival, and I'm like, right here, eating pizza with my camera. <laughs> That's funny. So I did end up meeting up with the tea guy and talking and stuff, and I actually brought a different type of sparkling water thing, and he was like, isn't that bad for something, something, something? And you know, I think I do remember reading some stuff about why it's not so good to drink sparkling water a lot. I also find it makes me thirsty, like, it doesn't like it feels like it quenches my thirst, but then I'm like thirstier later. So I don't know, but I've been enjoying them. So today's kind of an exciting day because I'm hanging out with my friend. <laughs> and it's been so long since I've hung out with a girlfriend. I feel like the last time I hung out with a girlfriend was like when I was living in my car and we were I was trying to figure out everything so I was really kind of scatterbrained we had this like plan to go camping together but then I ended up it was the same time when I was living in my car like it happened at the same time so I was like trying to figure out a bunch of stuff so I couldn't really be as present and hanging out as I wanted to be although we did still have an epic time but I'm excited to see her and guys I understand that like I'm super into healthy stuff like I really I really am but then I also make some not as healthy choices you know and I feel like that's upsetting for people like people don't understand They're like how can you be so interested in health and buy organic stuff but then also do that and that and get your nails done um I don't know dude I'm just doing what I want to do you know I want to take ashwagandha and chlorella I usually take Sun Corella, but I got this from this company, so I uh, wanted to get the free shipping. <laughs> oh, I love the smell <gasps> and the taste. Oh my gosh, I just love Corella. Like, seriously? Mmm. Mmm. Why does this taste so good? I was just talking to my friend, and he was like, I've convinced myself. <laughs> that some things are healthy that taste good and i was like like what healthy stuff does taste good you're tripping it really is good and he's like mm, thought about it for a while corella and i'm like no dude you didn't convince yourself of it it actually tastes amazing 
those sun corella tablets animals like them my baby brother when i visited him when he was a baby he liked them like my rats like them cats like them i like them they taste good so ariel just texted me and uh she said hey girl i have some bad news two people raul and i were close to just we're close to just tested positive for COVID. I have to go get a test, but my throat feels a little funny. I really don't want to get you sick. Can we reschedule? I'm hoping I don't get it as I never got this before. So unfortunately, Ariel and I are not gonna hang out. contact details on that piece of cardboard in front of my house um, I am, I didn't contact him I don't think I'm gonna contact him I just he seems like a cool dude he seems nice but I don't know I'm just not feeling the vibes and I just I don't know I suck at dating dude <laughs> I suck I actually don't know how much I like driving. I prefer other people to drive, especially my man, which I don't have. There's something about a man driving. I don't know what it is. But I like it for some reason. Uh, basically, I am sick of looking at my yellow teeth and I'm doing something which to me feels a little bit drastic. I'm using these whitening strips. Um, I've been asking for advice of like what I should do to whiten my teeth a little bit and I've got a lot of advice for like more natural things and stuff but the thing is is I've tried so many of the things. If this works, it'll be a fraction of the cost and uh, God, I just want them to stick really good. So this one, there's 13 treatments and they're a half an hour each treatment. So I just put these strips on for a half an hour. I think this is my third day of doing it. So hopefully in 10 days, I'm gonna be like sparkling white. My teeth just look yellow. And especially for some reason, if I'm trying to do TikTok videos or something, I just see like this yellow smile. So hopefully this is gonna work and my teeth are gonna get a little bit more white, hopefully without like becoming more sensitive and stuff like that. But I feel like I'm noticing a difference already and it's only been three days. So I'm hopeful that after the full 13, it's just gonna look much better, but we'll see. I've been seeing this video has it been years at this point the 24-hour challenge of eating from the dollar store I've wanted to do it for the longest time but for some reason I just never have so today is the day I'm driving over we're actually going to the 99 cent store but I figure that's a dollar store right <laughs> so I really I've never been here to this 99 cent store I really don't know what to expect in terms of produce or do they have produce at the dollar store? What are they gonna have for me? I don't know. Are they gonna have like a big option of food to get? Are they gonna have any? Honestly, I really don't know what to expect. I know I know that they'll have some packaged stuff like chips and whatnot. Do they have a fridge area? I don't know, I don't know. All right, first things first is holy freaking moly. We have hit the freaking jackpot of jackpots of food in a freaking dollar store. Here we've got lots of snacks, various drinks and things. Organic blueberries at that. Well, guys, my cart is full and I gotta freaking get out of here ASAP before I get more stuff. I got way more than I need or wanted to get, but I'm just amazed and wow. What I wanna start off with is look at this. 
<laughs> pina colada naked i never get these because i'm like ah, i can just blend up stuff in my own blender myself and it's more fresher um mm, mm. i love the fresh fresh squeeze but this is hitting it let me tell you what mm, freaking delicious um i got the oh my god excuse me milk freaking cereal Organic or no, these are the dates, which is gonna make it really good And blueberries now the one thing oh my goodness Okay, I'm gonna use this container. Oh, all right. I'm gonna show you how it's done here. This is organic This is really good ingredients in here That's what they look like flakies Kind of a small bowl <laughs> but the cool thing is i can fill it up multiple times now you might be wondering how the heck am i gonna what am i gonna do here with this date i could do that all right i could but let me show you the star method who of my ogs remembers that this is like a thing <laughs> that i would do but this is just gonna make the cereal so delicious and sweet I don't know. And this works. Mmm. <laughs> My goodness. This is incredible. Are you guys like as blown away as I am at this amazingness with our beautiful organic blueberries? Yes! All right. Now for the finishing touch here. Milk. Let's try this epicness. Whoa. Mmm! Wow! Mm. Mm hmm I'll see you for lunch. Oh my god. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. <laughs> I'm here sitting outside in this cool spot and I opened up my snacks already. So here I got pistachios, pumpkin seeds, and mango. And I love pistachios, they're so good. I thought we could have some chips. Some salsa and some cheese. Now this is the classic thing that I could do nachos if we were cooking stuff and that would be really tasty. Wow. This tastes so salty. It's, it was like a big fat bite of cheese. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I think now is a good time for our coconut water. So this is coconut water. There was other ones with other ingredients and like preservatives and stuff. I wanted to get the one with the pulp, but the pulp had preservatives. This one's just pure coconut water, so I thought I'd get this one. I'll just shake it. Wow. I forgot how different the like cooked coconut water is, because I just I usually get either coconut water in the coconuts or like the raw. It really has its own appeal. It's totally different, but still like tasty, you know? Mmm. Darn them. Well, I cannot lie to you. I was on my way out, like literally right out the door, and there's like this little other area, and here's the freaking peanut butter, but it's got sugar and hydrogenated vegetable oils, so I don't think I'm gonna get it, but they do have this option at this one. Guys, I'm in Sprouts. I think I'm about to fail the challenge. I need nut butter, almond butter, I need almond butter. Peanut butter is not even hitting it. And I came here to see if any was on, was on sale. Ugh. Instead of Whole Foods, you know? Oh my goodness, I think I'm about to get it. Oh my God, I'm failing. This is crap, a failure. Oh my gosh. No, I've seen people do this challenge and use like their own butter, you know what I mean? So I feel like this is just that. We're just using an essential ingredient that we happen not to have. 
Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm. This looks like a good date too. All right, well, on a brighter note, this is heaven. <laughs> and uh, it's almost dinner time, so. Mm. Don't mind this dirty plate. <laughs> I'm using it again. I used it before, but it's okay. It's not that bad. All right, so dinner is pretty interesting. I got this thing in particular because it said lasagna made out of heart of palm. And I'm like, what? What the heck? Could lasagna, is this going to be anything like lasagna? So I'm just really curious to try this and see what this is all about. Um, like, okay. Oh, wow. It actually is kind of in lasagna shapes. Lettuce, heart of palm, and black beans. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is not super fancy. We have other ingredients from lunch that we could put in here, but that's not exciting. This is new. like it <laughs> mm, that's tasty i would say i would say that i'm freaking feeling it this is awesome i really like these little heart of palms thanks for watching thanks for joining me i definitely hope that you enjoyed this video